Uh, welcome back, uh, dear professionals and uh, dear friends. Uh, today, uh, in this video, um, I'm going to mention about what are the pre requirement of uh, D space. In uh, my previous uh, videos, I have mentioned about um, uh, how to install the D space in uh, Windows 10 operating system and how to create community and collections. I also I mentioned about uh, um, how to customization of the D space and also how to create backup and how to restore the backup complete. Okay, those things in the last video I have explained. Uh, in this video, I am going to mention about what are all the pre-requirement of the DSpace. Because uh, uh, when you start um, in a big, big project like uh, DSpace, you should have the proper plan. Without proper plan uh, or uh, anything, um, you cannot finally, you cannot succeed at all. That. So that reason, um, you should have fulfilled the um, what are all the requirement of the D space. In this uh, pre-requirement of the D space, I have categorized in uh, five different uh, kinds like hardware requirement, software requirement, network requirement, and um, UPS requirement and uh, e-content requirement. These are all the main uh, five categories. Um, categories I want to categorize. Uh, first thing is uh, I want to mention about uh, what are all the hardware requirement for the disk space. You know, uh, especially um, in this uh, hardware requirement, um, you may see like uh, computers uh, requirement like uh, what are the capacity of your computers. Uh, it will comes and also it will comes uh, especially about monitors. Um, it will comes ready uh, what are the keyboard and mouse. In, uh, in this hardware requirement, I want to categorize in uh, uh, three uh, main uh, different uh, types. First one is larger organization. Second one is uh, I want to categorize uh, like uh, um, medium organization and third one is a smaller organization. Especially for the, um, in the larger organization like uh, universities or institutions, uh, maybe software companies uh, or uh, uh, large, uh, other larger, larger organization, they are having more budget allocations. When you start any project, if you have a good budget allocation, um, you can plan very big. So that reason, in this organization, whether they are providing very larger budget allocation, uh, you can purchase a server. In this larger organization, you should go for the server, so not for the normal computers, you should not go. Uh, like um, a server, you should go like a Dell Xeon server or HP server or a different company servers are there. Uh, in my case, in my university, we, I'm, uh, we are still using a Dell Xeon server uh, with uh, 16 GB RAM capacity. And uh, in the uh, Dell Xeon server will come uh, different variants, uh, different um, um, uh, capacities coming like 8 GB, 16 GB and 32 GB. Uh, I suggest my users whether you go for the 32 GB or disk um, um, uh, RAM capacity, it is good because um, uh, the server will respond you very fast. So that is an I'm suggesting if you go in the beginning initial stage you should go larger capacity. And also in the hard disk capacity uh, you can go minimum 2 terabyte or 3 terabyte hard disk um, capacity. Because you know um, for example in your digital repository whether you upload um, video content or audio content it will consume the more space. So uh, maybe after 6 months uh, you are gradually uploading the content over there. Uh, after six months or one year, uh, maybe you, were, you will be running out of the uh, memory. So that reason, if you initial stage stuff, you should select larger capacity of uh, hard disk uh, drives over there. And uh, the cost of these uh, things, it may be around 200 uh, and 2000 uh, US dollar like. Uh, so these things also you should uh, keep. And it may be uh, depend upon uh, uh, your country, a taxation it may be um, more like uh, 2000 uh, 2, USD to 3000 USD uh, I have mentioned in the USD you can convert your uh, those things in your local currency also so next one is in the college level especially in the medium organization I want to mention uh, especially in the college level uh, like engineering colleges or management colleges or undergraduate colleges 
uh, in the uh, maybe uh, like uh, in the polytechnic colleges uh, these are all uh, considered as the uh, medium organization in this uh, organization when you see the budget allocation there will be a moderate budget allocation they are not ready to invest much uh, uh, for this project at this time uh, you can select a normal in the low level of the low end of uh, Dell Xeon server or maybe uh, you can select i7 or i5 um, Intel processor I suggest my user if you go for the Intel processor it is good uh, in uh, different processor like the AMD also there uh, priority should be given Intel processor and um, i7 i5 uh, processor you can select with the 8 GB or 16 GB RAM or 32 GB RAM also coming uh, you can select the larger capacity of the RAM and also hard disk capacity hard disk hard disk drive so it should have minimum one terabyte because you know in the in the in the sun uh, server environment if you running out any uh, these memory issues in middle you can add um, extra um, uh, what are they um, extra memories that uh, are there you can add it in the um, uh, uh, another memory cards but here in the normal computer it is not possible because once you install the software in the display software in this server if you want to extend your memory it is not possible so that reason i suggest my user in the beginning itself you should select a larger capacity of the hard, um, hard disk drive and also it uh, these things um, uh, for this configuration the cost it may be around uh, 1000 US, uh, US dollar and last another one in the, especially in the school organization school level or small organization and there is a very less budget allocation and also most of time in these organization they are not ready to invest uh, more, uh, much um, uh, that is a budget uh, um, they are not ready to spend more budget um, on this project most of them they may say you uh, what are all the available resources are there just use that one and implement the project like this they may say in that case you should select in your, com uh, in your organization which is better one computer you should select and install the software so it may be a i3 processor or 4 gb ram or 8 gb ram and it may be a 800 gb or 1 terabyte hard disk you should select and you can install the software over there and it may be cost around around uh, 500 usd these things you should keep in your mind and um, these hardware requirement you should fulfill over there and next one is i want to mention about what are all these software requirement in this uh, software requirement after you procure in the hardware for your organization uh, you can go for the uh, first you need to install the um, operating system uh, into the server in the fortunately dspace is supporting uh, both environment like uh, linux and windows environment uh, you know that uh, in the linux environment uh, we may find a different variants like uh, ubuntu and kubuntu lubuntu and also open source and also um, mint uh, like this a uh, different variants will come and uh, i suggest my user whether you have ubuntu server 25 25 to 4 uh, this is the newest version of the operating system in your server that is very good and also old version like 18.04 or 16.04 this is also it is a um, uh, is supporting so whether you have these uh, opera uh, you should install this operating system uh, to that particular server next one is in the windows also it is a uh, whether you have windows server uh, uh, operating system whether you purchase any one server with the windows uh, server uh, inbuilt windows server operating system will come, come whether you purchase that one there also you can it is possible you can install the uh, windows 10 um, um, you can install the uh, dspace software over there next one is in the college level if you have a um, if you purchase a Dell um, Xeon server along with that they will um, freely they will provide the Windows server operating system there also you can install and also whether you don't have this uh, server if you have a normal computer in that computer you should have um, you should install Windows 10 uh, operating system uh, with a 64 bit okay I'm mentioning about 64 Windows 10 operating system you should install over there and next one is in the school level uh, whether you have um, if you get one small uh, one uh, less configuration computer there also you can install uh, uh, windows 10 operating system 
these are the main software requirement things you should fulfill uh, when you want to go for the uh, deep space project next one is what is the neck network requirement when you start this project uh, without network uh, you cannot execute the project this is one thing you should keep in our mind because in the network like a local area network vpn network or public uh, network anything you can use uh, in your organization in the first one is a basic need is you should have local area network a lan that is means all computer in your organization should be interconnected that is when all computer should be interconnected with the local area network so when in this server whether you install the software in this server uh, if you enter um, you have to identify what is the um, ip address of your some uh, server and uh, through this uh, ip address you can access this content in other server other uh, client computer so this uh, d space is supporting uh, for the server and the client environment in the server we are going to store the all the information in the client computer through the network we are going to access uh, what are all the store the content in the server this is possible so you should have the local area network suppose uh, whether you have the um, you have Two or three campuses. Okay, one campus is the main, and another campus is located in other another area. Maybe uh, uh, some distance it is located there. Through that, when you want to access our digital library content, it is also possible through the virtual private network you can access this content. So through only D space content through virtual uh, private network you you can access. That is also one possible thing. next another one major thing i want to mention is uh, whether you want to access our di uh, digital repository content through internet what you has to do that is means for that you should obtain the public ip that is means um, uh, if you um, um, apply the public ip or um, if you assign the public ip into the server through the internet also uh in, in throughout the any home, any part of the world you can access this content that is possible so in the public ip how to get the public ip that is means the most of um, users may not know about how to get the public uh, ip you just go and approach to your internet service provider that is means who are the telephone uh, service provider and there you should approach and uh, you can obtain the public ip over there Uh, when you uh, pay this certain amount like uh, minimum um, less than 100 100 uh, us dollar per year whether you pay they will provide the one public ip uh, to all users in my case uh, especially in um, in uh, uh, under my video i have given one public ip because uh, i hosted in the online those things so uh, you can go through and you will uh, understand over there and also uh, yeah, it cost around maybe 100 us dollar and the bandwidth it will in the initial stage in the for the basic plan they will give 1 gb bandwidth uh, whether your users are more uh, if you, um, users are less than 500 or 100 like that uh, you can go for the 1 uh, 1 gb bandwidth like this if users are your users are are targeted users are more throughout the world Uh, you should go for the 4 gb or 10 gb bandwidth so in the most more user simultaneously they can access this content it is possible so that reason these things you should keep uh, keep in your mind when you whether you assign the public ip through the internet our uh, this space content they can access uh, it is possible next another one is a very very important thing is ups uninterrupted power supply or power system something they will call so this ups requirement you should fulfill fulfill uh, because in the in, uh, if it is um, uh, uh, for example you initiated initiated this project and some time and also you install the um, software in the server and it is it will work and you upload the day, upload the around uh, um, 3 terabyte or 4, 4 terabyte 5 terabyte content uh, into our d space uh, repository whether you don't have ups it will directly shut down and directly um, switch off the computer 
when it is happen finally it will affect to the hard disk of your computer and finally your uh, operating system will corrupt, corrupt finally it will result in result in uh, resulting in your d space will be uh, corrupted over that whatever you uploaded cor um, uh, content will, will be vanished so those things happen so that reason whether you have the uninterrupted power supply to your server computer if a power goes up in case of um, power fluctuation power goes up uh, still i am um, your uh, server should ensure it is having the power supply it will not uh, directly shut down so uh, directly switch up so it should um, uh, when, uh, when power goes up it should be a properly shut down those things you should keep in your mind for that reason uh, for the larger organizations like a university and um, uh, maybe colleges they should purchase a large capacity of power um, uh, supply over there and like, like in the smaller organizations uh, they may not offer that much of uh, financial allocation so that uh, in that case for at least for the server itself at least uh, in the for a server uh, they should ensure the continuous power supply when power goes up uh, at least uh, until shut down your computer uh, you should ensure the continuous power supply to your computer these uh, these things i should keep in your mind especially in the ups requirement uh, without this without ups you should not initiate this project this is also one basic need you should fulfill uh, so when Uh, you should uh, take uh, these things uh, very serious when uh, these uh, things if it is not fulfilled um, in the middle itself your project will be stuck so that is one important thing to keep in your mind next one is another one important thing is uh, when you install when you share the project uh, you install suppose you install the disk space in your server and then what next the question will will be raised what are all the content i need to upload to my disk space repository so i suggest my user because i work with this with the this disk space several years so in this electronic content i want to categorize in two ways one is institutional institution collections and next one is external source collections in the institution collections i want to mention about what are all the um uh, we have to identify our institution available uh, uh, what are all the institutionally available resources like so what are all the institutional repository i want to give some some examples first one is a faculty publication and theses handouts handouts or notes newspaper clippings seminar report project report and institutional publications like a newsletter where every year institution is going to publish newsletter or it's going to create financial report or seminar report so those things they are going to um, create okay these things we have to identify and we have to collect so each uh, we have to approach uh, all faculty or teaching staff of the um, organization and uh, we have to collect those content and uh, we have to come after collecting those content we should organize or uh, we should maintain in use uniform format like uh, we should convert everything into the pdf format and finally um, after converting a pdf format we should rename the file okay what is the um, subject uh, that particular uh, file for so, suppose you are uh, you are getting uh, uh, some files like um, uh, information science handouts you should mention okay it is information science handout and you had to rename that pdf file like this uh, you had to um, collect those content and organize them and also you can you have to convert them uh, into the pdf format next one is external source collection external source collection and it is comes under in the electronics books and the video content in the uh, electronics books uh, in this case i want to mention about um, very clearly because you know uh, most of time all institution cannot provide the internet connectivity to our uh, all users because if uh, user capacity is a large a larger than 1000 or 2000 so all users try to use internet maybe internet speed uh, it will come down at the, in that case i'm uh, going to suggest my users 
um, if you have el electronic um, electronics books are available on uh, uh, library genesis website bookboom.com or pdfdrive.com or gutenbreadprojectthis.com in those electronics books you have to download and rename them you have to upload to the your server that is also one um, option uh, one option you can do it because uh, most of time you cannot rely on the internet because uh, internet may be fluctuating due to the power fluctuation due to the telecom or some problem telecommunication problem it may be gone so in that case uh, you should go for the uh, electronics contents like that one next 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 in that case we want to go to especially in the electronics books uh, you can visit the website like uh, library genesis bookboom.com or pdfdrive.com and it is covers all disciplines and all um, subjects and um, what subject your um, institution is meant for that is uh, that you should identify and you can download those uh, electronics books and upload to the uh, your uh, digital library this is also one option um, you can do it next another one is video content now uh, where you can find the video content uh, most of time uh, suppose uh, electrical department we are our uh, college it is uh, meant for the engineering college so all uh, subjects related uh, audio and video lectures are available uh, in the MIT video uh, videos website and NPTEL website so just type in the google mit videos you can go to that particular website and you can download after downloading uh, that particular video you have to rename um, as it is a uh, rename what is the uh, that lecture content and you can um, upload to our digital repository so i want to give small example if you go here okay just type mit video i think i have collection okay just mit video MIT videos just select you can go here uh, you can go here which subject uh, you are from for example I am from mechanical engine you just select for example I want to get um, dynamics and uh, engineering dynamics just click and um, here you may find a view course and uh, just go here and the video content just click everything they will provide lecture notes and everything these are all the videos it's going to appear for example modeling in dynamics i want just click and uh, you can download it if you click it's going to download in your uh, computer or you can play here and these contents you have to rename it according to uh, that uh, particular content okay these contents I just get out find some okay this one this is also one way and next another one is an nptl that is means national program for uh, technology and uh, nptl videos just enter nptl it is uh, from India, different IITs together they have developed uh, NPTEL. You can go here and you can select whatever the course you want, NPTEL courses. And uh, here, according to course, it is uh, arranged, the all contents are arranged according to course. So, suppose I want a civil engineering, just click and uh, Revolutions essentially by one, just click, and these are all the videos. For example, in the class, how many uh, suppose in one semester, if uh, 20 classes is going on, all 20 videos here are available like this. Each video you may find here, you just click, it is going to play. Uh, um, if you want to download, you can go here and uh, download all those videos. And after downloading, um, I want to mention okay, 
you have to organize like this way where um, you have to in the arts or commerce engineering the engineering computer science are electrical okay just click electrical in the electrical again you have to organize audio video ebooks like this okay ebooks but uh, like this each content you have to organize in the proper way uh, you may see here in the video content you mathematics features are here in the mathematics also chapter one in the chapter one all videos or uh, maybe files should be renamed according to what is the content it is having. Okay, like this, we have to restore. And when you uh, when it is uploaded to the your um, the DSpace repository, student they will uh, they will easily identify what that video related. If you are uh, if you are not renamed according to that uh, subject, uh, so if it is video one, video two, video two, so <coughs> user cannot identify. Uh, what about that video so these things you should keep in your mind when you start um, digital repository in your organization thank you for watching this video thank you very much